Alright, I'm going to select the body of the calculator, shift right click, insert edge loop tool. I'm going to insert two edge loops, adjust that one. Our screen is going to not be right above our button, so I'm just going to pull this up a little bit. Something about like that. And then our display screen is going to go right here in between those two edge loops. So I'm going to go to face editing mode, select these faces, go up to edit mesh, turn keep faces together on because I want it to act as one big gigantic face, not four individual ones. So I'm going to go to extrude, scale it in, scale it in this way a little bit. All I'm doing is just making kind of like a border around our display screen, I'm trying to make it all about the same. I'm going to push it down to create a slope. I'm going to extrude downward and create kind of like a, a lip going around our, our screen. So now I'm going to do another extrude. I'm going to scale it a little bigger. That's good. And now extrude down. So now we have our display screen and it has kind of like a lip around it. Let me pull that up just a little bit. And there's going to be kind of like a, a glass, piece of glass on top. I'm going to go to face editing mode. I'm going to select these two faces. I'm going to extrude those inward, or well, scale it inward rather. extrude down extrude in just a tad I'm gonna extrude up I'm gonna snap it to one of these vertices just by pressing and holding down the letter V and then pressing and holding down my middle mouse button and then move my mouse over a, a, where a vertice would be. So I just moved it to a vertice that would be on the top face of our calculator. Now I'm going to extrude again by scaling inward, create kind of a border. I'm going to extrude down create kind of another lip. So extrude, scale it bigger, extrude, go down some. There we go. Now that solar panel is way too big, so I'm going to go to vertex editing mode, grab those top vertices, and pull that down. Something like that. All right, our calculator is done. We've got all our buttons on there. We've got our display screen. And we've got our solar panel. Now, all these buttons, I'm just looking to see if I want to make them smaller. Actually, that's good there. I'm going to select the whole calculator and I'm just going to spread that out a little bit, make it a little wider. There we go. So the modeling is done. Actually, we need to make the glass. So, and I'll make the solar panel just a little bit bigger. Just so it makes me a little happier. There we go. I'm going to create a polygon plane. Get rid of some of these divisions. So I'm going to change all those to one. Now I'm just going to scale it to fit our display. I'm going to 
cop duplicate it, move it over to our solar panel window, scale it to fit there. There we go. Let's move those down into place. Just so it's below the lip. Same thing with our solar panel. Alright, we are done. The modeling is done. In part two, we will create our texture map. And then in part three, if we don't have enough time, part two, in part three, we'll create the textures and either render it in part three or we'll create a part four and render it in part four. So, thanks for watching.